Good morning. Greetings from Father Adnan Bernard and I'm Harry. We are glad that you are able to join us. Today's reflection is prepared by Father Adnan Bernard and presented by Naim Harry. With the church, we celebrate the memorial of St. Giles the Hermit, who lived from 650 to 710. In the greatest solitude, he spent many years his sole companion being his beloved red deer who in some stories sustained him on her milk Giles ate a Christian vegetarian diet this retreat finally discovered by the king's hunters who had pursued the hind to its place of refuge an arrow shot at the deer wounded the saint instead who afterwards became a patron of the physically disabled He died in the early part of the 8th century with the highest repute for sanctity and miracles. The first reading, Colossians chapter 1 verses 1 to 8. We give thanks for you to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, continually in our prayers. The gospel reading, Luke chapter 4 verses 38 to 44. I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns too because that is what I was sent to do. Today's reflection concern towards the crippled and the depressed. The new member of Saint Agidio were told about St. Giles that his cult spread rapidly far and wide through Europe in the Middle Ages as is witnessed by the churches and monasteries. dedicated to him in France, Spain, Germany, Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, and Great Britain. By the numerous manuscripts in prose and verse commemorating his virtues and miracles. And especially by the vast concourse of pilgrims who from all Europe flocked to his shrine. In 1630, the church of San Egidio in Rome was dedicated to him. Since 1968, has housed the lay community of San Egidio. At the end, they were told that St. Giles is a patron saint of cripples and is also invoked as a saint for childhood fears, convulsions, depression, and particularly in Normandy. How sincerely we show our love and concern towards crippled and depressed members of our society. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and your families. And remember, God loves you. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow and have a wonderful day and God bless you.